So hi guys and welcome back. Today we will take a look at the Foxeer DM25. That's a 25mW 5.8 GHz video transmitter with the full 40 channels. As you can see it's race band. It also has a wide input voltage of 7 to 24 volts. This push button control here and it can provide your camera with 5 volts so it has a little down stepper inside to provide 5 volts to your camera. So that's this little transmitter which I'm giving you a close up of here. What we will do today is we will measure its weight, its dimensions, we will measure how hot it gets after some usage and we will measure its RF output power for each band and each channel. So we will do a complete bench review today and let's now start with the weight. So let's start with the weight of it and as you can see it comes in at about 7 grams which is pretty nice. So now we will take a look at its dimensions to see how large it is. So let's see. So this one comes at a width of about 20 millimeters. It comes at a length of about 34 millimeters without the connector. And 30 43 millimeters with the connector. At its sickest point, the widest point, this is here where this little display is, this has a width of about 7.6 millimeters. So now let's see how hot this gets. So we have turned it on now and oh, we will just leave it running for a bit and uh, then uh, actually measure the temperature of it. Okay, we have left it running now on the bench for around 5 or 10 minutes and I will measure uh, the temperature at the heat sink here. And we are at around 46 degrees. Can you see it here? Yeah, I can see it. We have about 46 degrees here, which is a bit hotter than my previous measurement. 47 now, but it doesn't get more than it. Yeah, it, this is the hottest point. So we have a temperature of about 47 degrees, which is basically nothing to worry about for these kind of transmitters. What we will do next is we measure its RF power. Okay, so we are now ready to do the RF uh, power measurement. We are starting here, you can see it already at uh, frequency 1 and channel 1 and we will go through all the channels and all the bands and I will just uh, tell you where we are and you can always see the emitted power for the specific channel and band. We are now at band 1, channel 1 with 16 milliwatts. Channel 2 again gives us around 16 milliwatts. Channel 3 is again 16 milliwatts. Channel 4 is at 17 milliwatts. Channel 5 at 17 milliwatts. Channel 6 at 17, it's a bit more, close to 18. Channel 7 is at 18 milliwatts. And channel 8 is also at 18 milliwatts. We will now switch to the band 2. So we are now at channel 1 of band 2. Channel 1 of the band 2 gives us 18 milliwatts. Channel 2 gets us to 17. Channel 3, 17. Channel 4, 17. Channel 5, 16. Channel 6, 16. Channel 7, 16. 
channel 8 is at 15. We will now switch to band number 3. Uh, so uh, we are at uh, band number 3, channel 1 with 18 milliwatts, channel 2 with 19 milliwatts, channel 3 with 19 milliwatts, channel 4 gets us up to 20 milliwatts. So band 3, channel 4 is the, the best so far with 20 milliwatts. Channel 5 is down to 14 milliwatts. Channel 6 is about 14 milliwatts. Channel 7 is also about 14 milliwatts. And channel 8 of band number 3 is at 13 milliwatts. We will now switch to band uh, number 4. For the frequency band number 4, uh, on channel 1 we are at 17 milliwatts, channel 2 at 17, channel 3 at 16, channel 4 at 16, channel 5 at close to 16, channel 6 at 15, channel 7 at 15, and channel 8 at 14. And now we switch to the final band, which is the race band. Here the channel 1 is at 19 milliwatts, channel 2 of race band is at 18 milliwatts, channel 3 of race band at 17 milliwatts, channel 4 is at 16 milliwatts, channel 5 at 16, channel 6 at 15, channel 7 at 14, and channel 8 at 13 milliwatts. So yes, this basically concludes uh, my review of this nice little transmitter. As you saw, it doesn't uh, really provide uh, the complete 25 milliwatts, which is given here, but this is also a good thing, because in countries where 25 milliwatts at most are allowed, this means that with this transmitter you will uh, uh, definitely not get over this limit, so this is a good thing. And of course for race events this is particularly uh, interesting, because they will say no more than 25 milliwatts, and with that transmitter you can make sure to really not get above this limit. We have uh, taken a look at another transmitter lately, the EA Shine, which even got over this limit up to 32 milliwatts, so this might uh, be a problem for these racing events. Uh, I showed you the strongest channels of this transmitter, so if you want to get the most out of it, you now know which uh, frequency band and channel to tune into. I hope you liked this transmitter. Uh, if you liked my review of it, please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and I am looking forward to see you next time.